How's it going everyone? They call me the toaster and today I want to show you this really cool fully automatic wool farm. So let's get right into today's tutorial. This super compact wool farm is actually very efficient. It uses advanced grass block mechanics to make sure that the dirt block always changes into a grass block. It has a dispenser with shears to automatically shear the sheep and a minecart with a hopper system to pick up that wool and put it in the chest below. So let's get right into the build tutorial and then I'll explain the technical details after that. Let's start with the full materials list. Two chests to collect all the wool. 15 building blocks of your choice. I'm using stone bricks. This is for the base. 17 dirt. This is for the grass and for the sheeps. One minecart with hopper. This is to collect the wool. One redstone torch. This is to trigger the dispenser. One dispenser. This is used to hold the shears so that we can automatically shear the sheep. One observer. This will detect when the dirt block changes into a grass block. One rail. This is to put the minecart with a hopper down. One hopper. This puts the wool inside of the chest. One torch to light up the area. Seven glass blocks. This will stop the grass blocks from turning into dirt blocks in the build. Now you're going to need either a piece of wheat or two leads. We need to get the sheep inside of the build. So if you hold out wheat, they will be attracted to you and walk towards you. Or if you have leads, you can just put the leads on them and bring them into the build. You're going to need a stack of temporary blocks. This is used to get the sheep up to the build. You can make a little staircase out of it. And lastly, you'll need shears. The shears are going to lose durability. So after about seven stacks of wool, these things are going to break. So you could either load up the dispenser with a lot of shears if you have a ton of iron, or just wait until you get about seven stacks done and then just put another shears in. All right, now let's start with the build. I'm choosing to build this in the desert biome because I want you to see really easily the difference between the dirt and the grass. And if I build that in a plains biome, the background is kind of distracting. This build can be done in any biome. So let's get started with the build. Let's start by putting down the double chest and we're going to put a hopper pointing into that chest. You'll know the hopper is actually pointing in towards that chest is if you open up the hopper and you put something inside, you'll see it's actually going to funnel into the chest. Then what we're going to do is we're going to hold sneak so we can place a rail on top of this hopper and then we're going to place the minecart with a hopper directly on top of that. Now we're just going to build in this area a little bit because we don't want to accidentally push the minecart with a hopper off of the rail. So if we build around it just like this, we are protecting it. Now we're going to place down the dirt. So what we're going to do is on top of the stone bricks, we're going to be placing down a three by three of dirt. So you'll see just like that. Now behind the build, we're going to take out this one middle dirt of dirt over here. And we're going to place an observer like this. The red dot has to be facing this side and if we look at the platform, you'll see that the arrow is pointing away from the build. Now behind this observer, we're going to be placing a block down and we're going to be placing a redstone torch like this. And we'll place the dispenser on top of the observer. And inside of the dispenser, we are now going to put the shears. Now what we need to do is carefully put the seven glass all around the dirt platform. And we're not going to place one in the middle. This is where the sheeps are going to go. Next, we'll place another layer of dirt blocks all above the glass and above the dispenser. So we're leaving this one block gap in the middle here so that the sheeps can go into there. Right here, we'll place the torch just to light the area up. And then what we'll need to do is to make a staircase so that we can actually get sheeps up there. So now what you have to do is you have to go find a sheep and you could either use wheat to lure him in, you'll see he'll follow you if you have that. Or if you want, you can use a lead and then just bring them up the staircase. And he should follow you. Yeah, keep pulling a little bit. Be careful not to fall in yourself. <laughs> All right, come on, sheep. Careful not to fall in the hole yourself. Yeah, there we go. All right. No, don't rock right off the edge. Oh my God. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add more cobblestone up here just so that it's very easy to get the sheep in here no don't but don't come up here if i do this there we go now i should be able to just pull them in no come on keep going up i think i gotta break down one more it just keeps going down oh there we go 
And I slowly lured him into there. Awesome. So now if I break the lead, it's going to get caught in the minecart hopper and it's going to end up in the chest over here. So we could reclaim that and perform that with another sheep. I should also mention if you want to dye them, you should dye the sheep before you put them in there because otherwise afterwards it's a little bit hard to do. I'm going to put this one red because I use a ton of red wool. So let's get them up here again. I had to break this block, come up here. And then I had to go up so that he was above the hole. And then if I drop him back down. There we go. The lead will let go if I just try to go too far away. Perfect. So let's break all this cobblestone because it is unnecessary. And that's it for the sheep. I wouldn't recommend putting more than two, maybe three sheeps in there because having a lot in there could cause lag and it takes a certain amount of time for the grass to grow back. So it's not like all the sheeps will always be eating. Now to finish this off, we're going to place a dirt block above the torch just like that. We can break this staircase. We don't need it anymore. We're so close to being done the build. The last thing that we need is to turn these dirt blocks into grass blocks. And let me show you how that happens. In order to turn all of these dirt blocks into grass blocks, they need to be touching a grass block. So if you're building this in the plains, and let's say you have a little bit of grass over here, you just have to bring dirt, make a little staircase out of dirt, and it's going. the grass is going to spread the dirt up, and it's going to turn all of this into grass. It might take a little bit of time, so try not to build this too far away from grass, otherwise you need to make a huge bridge for the dirt or if you have a silk touch shovel you can just take out grass blocks and plant them where you need them to be. You'll see over time the grass is going to climb the ladder and take over the whole build. You see the grass spreads even below the glass blocks and it's going to spread all up here and turn all of this into grass. Now whenever the sheeps eat the grass block it's going to turn it back into a dirt block. And the redstone knows this because of the observer that we have facing into that block. When it detects the change of that block from grass to dirt, it sends out a redstone signal which powers this dispenser and shears the sheep. And then you see we end up with the wool in the chest below. And that's it. You have completely finished the 100% fully automatic wool farm. Congratulations to you. This next part is just going to be a more technical section where I explain the mechanics of the grass block. A dirt block will never turn into a grass block by itself. It needs to be touching a grass block. This process doesn't happen right away, but I fast forward the time a little bit. So no matter from which four side that a grass block is touching the dirt block, it's going to turn it back into a grass block. The grass can also spread to a dirt block from the diagonals as well. No matter which diagonal of grass is touching the dirt block, it's going to turn it back into a grass block. So this is exactly the same platform that we have where the sheeps are. I wanted to know if having more grass on the same level as the dirt block would change that dirt block into a grass block a lot more quicker. So I built this huge grass test and we're going to be testing out a couple of different things. Our first test is going to have one dirt block with grass one layer all around it and when this dirt block turns into a grass block this light is going to turn on and the same thing for this one when this dirt block turns into a grass block this light is going to turn on and for this one as well and i've repeated this test 15 times the second test has a dirt block with two layers of grass blocks all around it and when this dirt block turns into a grass block this light is going to turn on and we also repeated this test 15 times as well. And our third test is this dirt block with three layers of grass blocks around it. And it's the same thing for the second test, the third one, and this one also repeats 15 times. This part is not really important, but if you wanted to see how I did the redstone for this, I just have an observer under the dirt block. So when it turns into a grass block, it's gonna send a signal into this piston over here, which is, just going to push this redstone block towards this redstone over here and that in turn is going to power up the light. So the test is whichever row has all of their lights turn on first is the fastest way to turn the dirt block into a grass block. So let's start the test right now. Oh look we already had this one turn. So that's the first one. Oh and it looks like some of them are coming in pretty quickly. We have two over here. 
We have one at the edge over there. So it seems that the first row already has four. The second row has three. And the last one over here has none. Oh, and this one for the first one just turned on. You see that grass block over there. So it looks like it's going to come close to first or the second row. The third row is not doing so well, surprisingly. After a little while, the second row caught up. You could see it only has two dark spots left while the first row still... Oh, it has one left. It just caught up. This is it. This is almost the end. The third row has two dark spots left, so it can... Oh, and it just tied it up. All three of them are neck and neck. Which one is going to be the winner? Write down in the comments right now which one you think is going to win. And it was second row came in first place. Let's see which one finishes second place. And third place ended up taking it. The final one just turned on. So what did that test show us? It doesn't seem like there's a huge difference between how many layers of grass are around the dirt block. If a heavy block like stone bricks or another piece of dirt is placed on top of a grass block, you'll see it's going to stop being a grass block. It's going to turn back into a dirt block. You see these turn both back into dirt blocks. But if we place glass on top of it, this will not break the grass blocks. It's going to keep them like this. Now here's where things get interesting. Let's look at this dirt block that doesn't have any grass blocks next to it. It won't turn into a grass block. And we have the layer of glass just like in the build. If we place grass blocks next to it here, this one row above it, you'll see it's going to turn it into a grass block. Even if we have the grass blocks in the diagonals one block above, they can still spread downwards and turn this dirt block back into a grass block. Since the sheeps need two blocks tall wall all around them to keep them enclosed, you may as well make the second layer out of grass blocks. So fill in the platform just like this, like we did with the second row. But there's one more thing I wanted to show you. If you have a dirt block and two blocks above it, you have a grass block just like this. You see it's two blocks and above it we have this grass block here. This grass block can actually turn this dirt block into a grass block. Check this out. Isn't that crazy? And that's why we're placing a dirt block at the top of the build because it can actually convert the dirt block that's below into a grass block. And that's it for the build. You are completely done. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please hit the like button and leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. And most importantly, hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. All right. Have an awesome day. Toaster out.